Yo, what's good everyone and welcome to Halloween 2021 for Wacky Wizard. Today we're going to be going over how to go ahead and unlock the brand new pumpkin ingredient. As you guys can see, the entire map has gone through pretty much an entire remodel in celebration for Halloween. And let me tell you, dude, it looks good. Those eyeballs over there kind of moving are extremely sick. But now we have this little stage over here and it says pumpkin ingredients. We have ourselves some type of a skull cauldron a pumpkin cauldron and then i'm assuming these are skins for the npc and two titles headless and horseman or that could just be one title being the headless horseman we're gonna find all of that out because in order to purchase a lot of these things we need to get candy corn so let's head over here and talk to the headed horseman and see what he's got to say so he says hey there how can i help you we're gonna ask him how do i collect candy there are three ways but more will be added each week which would you like to know about? So there's hidden candies, trick-or-treating, or the potion trader. So we're going to ask for the hidden candies first, so that, that way I can go ahead and let you guys know the location of all of those. But he says you can pick them up to collect them. They will respawn a short time after collecting them. So that's good. That means that we can go ahead and kind of farm that out. Now, the one after that is trick-or-treating. He says each day you can scare different characters around the map using potions. Just check what each person is scared of on the board behind me. So that's going to be pretty simple. As you can see back here, we have Goblin with the Noodle, Developers, Farts, Oz, Spiders, Witches, Fish, and Dumpster Diver Dan with Alien. The final one is the Potion Trader. During Halloween, the Potion Trader will be regularly visiting the Oasis. Bring him the specific potions he asked for and he will trade you some candy in return. Well, that's pretty good. I have not seen the trader pop up yet. So once that comes up, we'll go and check that out. So what we're going to do right now is I'm first going to go ahead and get this first video out for you guys as quick as possible on what you need to do to go ahead and scare each and every individual npc so let's start off with the goblins being noodles so for this i have a really strong feeling that it's going to be super simple just go ahead and grab a pool noodle drop that inside make the pool noodle potion and let's head on over to the goblins now there's quite a lot of them here so i'm going to take a wild guess and say that we stand next to the goblin leader and then we're just going to go ahead drink our potion and see what happens here Somebody said Muma and uh, that's it. We got ourselves 20 candy corn just by drinking a pool noodle potion right next to the goblin leader. All right, so for the developers, it says farts. I'm not 100% sure what that's gonna be. So I've already tried two different potions and it hasn't worked out. So this time I'm gonna try the clone poo potion, which is fairy and rotten sandwich. Let's see if they react to this. So that's gonna go ahead and do, ah, we didn't even know that existed. So there we go. We got ourselves now 40 candy corn. Again, the potion for the developers is going to be the cloning farts potion, which is the potion number 49 fairy and rotten sandwich so let's head back to the board now and see what our next person is going to be that is oz with spiders so to scare oz what we're going to attempt to do is since he's afraid of spiders we're going to go ahead grab a spider grab the pet tag and that's going to make a pet spider also known as the creepy crawly potion let's go ahead and head back to him and see what his reaction is going to be when we drink this right next to him so here we are we're going to drink the creepy crawly potion and his reaction is for all good things in the oasis ah so there we go now we have 60 candy corn let's go ahead now and move on to witches which is fish so for this one i feel like it's going to be a little more simple very similar like the first one we might be able to get away with just dropping a regular fish potion i don't know man let's see let's head on over to the witches and see what happens when we use the flounder potion right there so we're going to stand right next to glinda drink the flounder potion and they said hiss ah and now we have 80 candy corn let's go oh well i definitely did not mean to do that but for the final one we have dumpster diver dan his says aliens so i have a strong feeling this is going to be super simple let's go ahead and grab the alien parasite drop that inside this is more than likely going to be the potion that we need for this so again we're going to walk over to dumpster diver dan stand right next to him drink that potion and you should get blimey where's my tinfoil hat 
and there we go you now have your first 100 candy corn next up i'm gonna go ahead and find all of the hidden locations and i'll make a follow-up video remember the hidden locations do respawn so these will be the ones that are a little more important because you'll be able to farm them a lot more but for the time being you have now gone ahead and completed the scare board so congratulations make sure to subscribe turn on notifications so you do not miss my follow-up video on all of the hidden locations if this video went ahead and helped you out make sure to drop a like on it i would really appreciate that we cover every single wacky wednesday here on the channel and i gotta say man we got a lot of farming to do because the cauldrons look really sick and of course we need to get this brand new pumpkin ingredient to get all of the brand new potions but that's gonna go ahead and do it for this first video man i will see you guys in just a little bit with another one like always i will see you guys in the next one take care